So hi everyone, good morning. So today we should be talking about getting you and your business GDPR ready. So what is GDPR? It simply means Data Data Protection Regulation. So a lot of businesses use store and use data, you know, for information, increase revenue, gain competitive advantage. But today we shall be discussing on how you can protect this data. Now, what is data protection? Data protection has to be is a process of safeguarding important information from either compromise or corruption or loss. Now, data protection increases as the amount of data created and stored continues to grow at unprecedented rates. Now, there's a little tolerance to downtime that can make it impossible to access important information. So why is data protection important? Now, consequently, a large part of a data protection strategy is ensuring that data can be restored quickly after any corruption or loss. Now, protecting data from compromise and ensuring data privacy are other key components of data protection. Why is data protection important to companies? Protecting data is not a choice. It is a legal obligation. You have to employ good data protection practices and thoroughly train your staff members about data protection. And this should be standard conduct for organization which will help them protect protect them legally in the event of uh, something like a breach. You understand? So, why is data protection important to individuals now? It is important to individuals because their information is kept safe and it offers individuals protection wherever they are asked to disclose personal data. So, at least, you know... Their, their information are kept for explicit purposes. Now, what is data processing? Now, you know, data processing can be defined very widely. So, it has different, inf uh, can I say, explanations because it has to do with obtaining and collecting data, recording data, how data operations are being carried out and, the and how the alteration of data. Now, who is a data controller or what is a data controller? Now, it, this is a person or it could be a company, it could be a firm that determines the purpose for which the personal data is to be processed and the manner in which this personal data is being processed. So that's who a data controller is. And who is a data processor? He is an entity that possesses the personal data on the data controller's behalf. Now, the data processor is usually a third party external to the company. It might be the data controller himself or a separate third party engaged by the data controller. Now, we have some principles of data privacy. Data privacy is always an approach taken when creating new technologies and systems. It is when privacy is incorporated into tech and systems by default. It means your product is designed with privacy as a priority along with whatever other purposes the system serves. Now, another principle is proactive, not reactive, preventive, not remedial. This approach anticipates and prevents privacy breaches before they happen. Now, because privacy has been integrated into the product, security is a priority from the beginning of the design process. So privacy by design protects organization from, you know, compromise or loss. Now, privacy as the default, this ensures that Personal data are automatically protected in any system or business practices. Individuals don't have to protect their own privacy because the system was created already to be secure. So if people want to take steps to secure their own data, they can. Privacy embedded into the design. Now, by embedding privacy into the design, rather than trying to add it on later, the system will run better. So it's advisable you embed, you once you're building the system, it should be integrated. This privacy should be integrated in a holistic and creative way so that this privacy should, you know, does not diminish, so that the functionality does not diminish. Now we have the full, functional, full functionality, positive sum, not zero sum. Now, data privacy seeks to accommodate all legitimate interests and objectives in a positive sum win-win manner, not through a dated zero-sum approach where unnecessary trade-offs are made and trade-offs shouldn't be made to accommodate either privacy or functionality. End-to-end -end security, life cycle protection. Now, this considers security from the start to the finish. So this means that information is secure and protected when it enters the system. It is retained safely and if there is any compromise or if there is any breach or loss it is properly destroyed visibility and transparency so 
these allow so by allowing users and other involved parties to see how information moves through your system and how the, as the system improves so can accountability openness compliance are required for an effective and secure system so being clear about your system and the level of security will provide create trust and hold your organization accountable now do you need one a data protection officer yes you do because he's an enterprise security and his role is he oversees all the company data protection strategy and its implementation to ensure that the companies uh, uh, has to comply with all GDPR requirements. So this is an example of uh, GDP of who a you know data protection officer is. So um, I would like us to, you know, tell us what we've learned today. And uh, so I'll be expecting your feedback. All right. So thank you. And uh, I guess it was a lovely presentation. And I wish you all a productive and a fantastic day. Thank you.